Next, we come to our community champion of 2023, which is Davy Jones from the Southeast. Let me give you this, David. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, oh. I'll turn you around this one. Davy established the Brighton Yoga Foundation in 2016, a registered charity committed to bringing yoga to those who do not normally have access, but who would benefit the most. He has raised more than £110,000 in grants to fund community yoga programmes for women recovering from domestic abuse and sexual violence, people with mobility issues or recovering from serious illness, troubled teenagers, people with mental health issues, prisoners, people of colour, homeless people and refugees. It'd be quicker, David, to list the people that you haven't helped. The BWF currently provides 10 free classes a week. And I know Davey would like to say a few words on the importance of community yoga with us on this award. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank the hundreds of yoga teachers who've been quietly during, doing yoga community outreach work for many years, long before the Bright Yoga Foundation was set up and who didn't seek any awards or any recognition for what they did. They just did it because they thought it was the right thing to do to take yoga to the people who needed it the most. I'd also like to thank my wife who helped me set up the Brighton Yoga Festival and Foundation and who encouraged me to become a yoga teacher, but who's a much far better teacher than I'll ever be. Thanks too to all those who supported the Brighton Yoga Festival, which has been going now for 10 years, and the Brighton Yoga Foundation our teachers, funders, supporters, part-time staff and trustees. Since 2016, as you mentioned, we raised over 110,000 pounds and we're running 10 classes a week at the moment for the sorts of people that you mentioned uh, just now. The feedback from the classes is so good, it's almost as if we've written it ourselves. Twice in the last few months, and this is literally true, twice in the last few months, we've received feedback from participants saying, your class has literally saved my life. Just like those early pioneers of yoga outreach, we know that yoga is a wonderful gift and we're grateful for the benefits that it's brought us. But we also know that those who benefit from it the most often have no idea about the benefits that it would bring them. Often they don't think that yoga is for people like them and frequently they can't afford it. That's why we want to give back to support those people to get access to yoga. As the challenges facing humanity multiply, climate change, inequality, post-COVID mental and physical health problems, so the academic and medical evidence of the benefits of yoga to help meet those challenges also multiplies. But yoga is now a multi-billion pound business with large corporations looking to cash in. Increasingly, these chains of studios with poorly trained teachers short gym style classes aimed at the Instagram market, treat the values of yoga, their teachers and students as mere cogs in a money-making machine. Elites enrich themselves while many of our yoga teachers struggle to survive with some pay rates lower now than they were 20 years ago. It may be an oversimplification, but I think there are two broad trends in the yoga movement. Those seeking solely to make a profit from the more affluent participants, and those of us who seek to make yoga more accessible to those who need it the most. I'm very glad that the British Will of Yoga, which I've been a member for 22 years now, the IWGB Yoga Teachers Trade Union and the Brighton Yoga Foundation are all firmly in the latter camp. Thank you for this award and I accept it on behalf of Brighton Yoga Foundation. Thank you. <laughs> 